the hockey game 0-0. The Stars will begin their first power play. Will Butcher holds the zone at the right point, gets set up. He's got Bork, top of the circle, now back to Butcher. Fires, tip, they score! Marion Skudanich! Texas strikes early in the man advantage. Well, that's a good way to snap out of a power play drought. 11 seconds in on a redirect from Studenich. Butcher will get the primary. Strongest again, angles it to Butcher. Butcher looks inside. Butcher saucers it. Bork looks, fire, scores! Maverick Bork. That's two for two on the power play, which is suddenly hot here in Cedar Park. The Stars lead two to nothing. Midway through the man advantage, Maverick Bork with the toe drag and the patience. Now Maverick Bork to center for Butcher. His touch pass intercepted, regained by McKenzie. Races in on the right wing with a step. Centers, they score! Strongest, three for three. There's a pair of points for the rookie tonight already. Antonio Stranges with a goal and an assist, and McKenzie with a perfect pass. Here. Brought back in by Martin Kaut. The Barracuda will look to get set up into the slot. Robin scores! He beats Poirier over the glove and in. A power play goal for the Barracuda. All four goals tonight have been power play goals. Brandon Coe, Tufty tries to jam it loose. Petrovic helps out. Harley has a lane out to center, and shorthanded, he'll lead the rush. Harley into the San Jose zone. All the way in around Pouliot. Centers for Tufty. He scores! Second shorthanded goal of the season for Riley Tufty. Milwaukee atop the division. Here's Gardner into the zone. His shot's blocked by Mukamadoulin. Gardner scores on the second try. What a goal by Gardner. Five to one. I don't know how he snuck that one in past Dell, but he didn't have a lot of room to work it across the goal line. Top corner after the first shot was stopped. Rhett Gardner gets his 3 to 12, and they lead 5 1. Here comes Ryan Shea into the zone for student each. Back to Shea, he scores on the first shot against Strauss Mann. It's 6 to 1. Ryan Shea with goals in back-to-back -back games. It was leading six to one. Up the left wing, Nick Comano into the zone, towards the net. Man, can't get to it, Harley can. It's a goal for Thomas Harley. Strauss Mann waited a half second too long. Thomas Harley cashes in. Who had the longer reach? And Vincent shovels it into the Texas zone. Out to play it is Poirier giving away, and Poirier with a massive save. How did that one not go? Oh my goodness, Remy Poirier in scramble mode on the turnover robs Will Rydell. Here come the Remy chance. Andrew goes wide. The final four games of the regular season for the Stars will be on home ice that last week. Two against Manitoba on the 11th and 12th. We're going to get some action behind the play here as Tufty was checked by Weisblatt. There's Weisblatt again in the mix. Gardner went after Weisblatt, and Gardner's going to go to the box. Now Brady wants a piece of Tufty, and those two are going to go. They're going to drop the gloves here, Tufty and Brady. Now, I don't know if this will qualify as a secondary altercation, but if that's the case, it may be the end of the night for Tufty and Brady. They drop the gloves. They're going to fight here at the near side of the ice. Tufty gets a right in. Then he's tangled up and takes Brady down. And the linesman will now step in and call an end to it. But Stars up 7-1. Four goals in the first, three goals in the second. Here's a wrister. Stopped by Poirier. Rebound. They score. The Barracuda have two. The shot off the faceoff was fought off by Poirier, but he didn't know where that rebound wound up. The Stars and the Barracuda are done from here. They do not play again the rest of the way. Texas not only clinched a playoff spot last night, but they will end the night in first place in the Central Division standings again. The Stars leapfrog Milwaukee, and with six games to go, Texas is at the top of the division. They beat San Jose 7-2.